Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to find the factors of this given cubic equation really fast. And before we go any further, let me just remind you that the leading coefficient of this given equation is 1. And also this equation is in descending order. And in this next very first step, we are going to find the possible divisors of this constant term. And as you can see, the possible integer, integer divisor is going to be positive, negative 1 and positive or negative 19. And one more thing, since the highest degree of this equation is 3 that means we are going to have three solutions so that means that we are going to pick three numbers among these possible divisors and now my question is how many of these three numbers going to be negative numbers to find out that let's focus on our these highlighted signs as you can see all these signs are positive signs so there is a no change there is no fluctuation going on so that means none of these numbers going to be negative numbers once again the reason is since there is no change in signs so that means all these three numbers are going to be positive. Just keep in your mind. Thus our, those three numbers going to be simply 1, 1, 19. Why did I put that down this thing? Let's focus on that one over here. If we add these three numbers over here, you can see some means they add up to 21, isn't it? And what if we multiply all these three numbers, 1 times 1 times 19, we should get this 19 when we multiply them. And as far as heart is concerned, let me show you what that means. Let's go ahead and multiply these numbers. 1 times 19 is 19. And let's multiply 1 times 1 is 1 and 1 times 19 is 19. Let's go ahead and add these three numbers 1 plus 19 plus 19. If we add them we are going to get this 39. No wonder I call it heart because it looks like a heart shape. So thus our factors of this given cubic equation are going to be we are going to put down three parentheses first for the factors let's put down x in each parentheses and then let's focus on our these numbers this is one mean this is positive one positive one and positive 19 so we are going to put these numbers over here positive one in the very first parentheses positive one in the second and positive 19 in the third. Thus our solution set is going to be all these numbers except we are going to change the sign. Positive 1 become negative 1, negative 1, negative 19. So it's going to become negative 1, negative 1 and negative 19 and these are our solutions. And here is our second example. As you can see we want to find the factors of this given cubic equation whose leading coefficient is 1 and this is also in a descending order. So then the very first step we are going to find the possible divisors of this constant term, constant number. So the possible divisor, the integers going to be simply positive or negative 1 positive or negative 2, positive or negative 3, positive or negative 6, positive or negative 9, and positive or negative 18. And now in the next step, let's focus on the leading 
Now over here the highest degree, the highest power is 3. So that means that we are going to have 3 solutions. So that means that we are going to pick 3 numbers, the 3 appropriate numbers among these possible divisors. And now my next question is, among those three numbers that we're going to pick, how many of those are going to be negative numbers? So for that, let's focus on these highlighted signs, positive, positive, negative, and negative. I am going to write down these signs over here, positive, positive, negative, and negative. Always keep in your mind, if the signs repeat themselves, you just write them once. Okay, so that means this positive sign is gonna just write it just once and write down negative just once. And as you can see over here, so the only fluctuation is from positive to negative is just one change one fluctuation since there's only one fluctuation or one change that means we are going to have only one negative numbers that means two of those numbers going to be positive all right just keep in your mind so thus our numbers appropriate number is going to be simply negative two 3 and 3 and one of them is negative 2 and two of them positive. Now you might be wondering why did I pick these three numbers. So let me show you now what if we add these numbers negative 2 plus 3 plus 3 that should add up to positive 4 isn't it? That's what it's going to tell you over here. What if we multiply these three numbers 3 times 3 times negative 2 that is going to give us negative 18 isn't it and as far as heart is concerned let me show you what that means let's go ahead and multiply these end numbers negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 let's multiply these two numbers that's going to be negative 6 and 3 times 3 is 9. Let's go ahead and add all these three numbers. Negative 6 plus 9 plus negative 6, isn't it? If you add these three numbers, you can see that this adds up to negative 3. And we call it heart because this looks like a heart shape. So thus our factors are going to be simply we are going to put down three parentheses first all right and then we're going to put down x in each and every parentheses and then let's focus on these numbers of so this negative two and these are positive three we are going to put these inside these the first one negative two then positive three and then positive three and finally, our solution set is going to be all these numbers, except we are going to change their sign. So this negative 2 become positive 2, negative 3, this become negative 3 and negative 3. So it's going to become positive 2, negative 3, and negative 3. And these are our final answers. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.